Dealing with the, uh, dealing also with the Jesus thing is, let's go into this particular information. Go into this particular information. Hold on one minute. Let me get some. Uh, yeah. Let's get this. The other Bible. Mm-hmm. And let's look at this. Also, but the original scriptures of the first books that they compiled, because they got Paul, Josephus, and all them niggas, they just went in a room and just wrote up some shit and plagiarized. That's it. And every other book that shit was made, Mark and all them old niggas, this bunch of black niggas too. Motherfuckers, you know, sold us out. Because the, the Romans couldn't do it, they couldn't understand it, so they had to get niggas to do it. You see. You see, they had lost it, you know. These was white Romans ruling at this time, so they couldn't do it. Crack ain't never been able to write nothing, but he's a rogue, he's a thief. So they got Paul and Josephus and all them niggas, and they went up and wrote up all that stuff. You see what I'm saying? I wrote up all that stuff, punking out, keep from getting killed. You see what I'm saying? Traitors. Traitors. Now, let's deal with something. I want to read something to you. I think I read this the last time, but I didn't go down far enough. I want to read something. In the Apocalypse of Adam. Now, the Apocalypse of Adam... The Apocalypse of Adam. These are original scriptures. They used to call the Gnostic scriptures. That means that the scriptures that was translated in the book of, in, in, in what you call the King James Version, those told, say totally opposite of what the original scriptures say. That's why it took them seven conferences to turn this thing around. Y'all all right? Is this boring? Okay, because we can, we, you know, we got to get through some things. We deal with this thing right here because stick, this is what's sticking people. You think you're going to hell. And all that kind of shit. You live in hell. But I'm going to show you something else too. You, if your God consists of worshiping, you fucking with the wrong motherfucker. Show you something right now. If your God consists of worshiping, you are messing with the wrong person. Let's deal with this. Y'all all right? I hope you ain't scared and think you're going to hell. <laughs> huh? You live in hell. The apocalypse, the apocalypse of Adam. Revelation it is a revelation in which Adam taught to his son Seth in the seven hundredth year, saying, "Listen to my words, my son Seth. When God created me out of the earth along with Eve, your mother, not out of no rib." That's another metaphysical thing. I went about with her in all her glory, and she had been, which she had been in the eon which we have come forth. Which means that he had to go about with her in the place on which they were, um, whom, whom which they were created out of. She took him there. She taught me a word of knowledge of the eternal God. Now, how the hell is Eve going to teach Adam? Because Eve was higher than that. Adam was a dumbass motherfucker. Eve had to teach him all the shit. So if, if, if Adam came, Eve came after Adam, what the hell Eve is going to teach Adam of some shit that happened before they was created? That's what it says in the, this is the original scriptures before King James and them faggots got with the shit. You see, it's totally different. It's the apocalypse of Adam. You see. So we always say that the older shit, it has more truth to it. So... So you best bank on this. Now, look what it said. She taught me the word of knowledge of the eternal God. And we remember the great eternal angels, for we were higher than the God who created us. And the powers with him whom we did not know. The God, the ruler of the eons, and the powers delivered us in wrath. And when became when we became two eons, the glory in the hearts was us. And my mother and Eve, and along with the knowledge that a brother with us, he goes into a stuff. But I'm, I'm trying to get to the particular point. The point is, going back to this, let's clear this up. We got to clear all this up because we here for because I haven't been here but two times. So we got to go through a lot of things that we hadn't gone through. In the beginning, we were in heaven, chilling as gods. One of the sisters, Sophia, went off on her own and had a baby 
it's, it varies in different mythologies. It wasn't all the way formed. He was somewhat less of the higher gods than we were. He didn't stick around in the womb long enough to get all of the energy to become a god. He jumped ship. Tore out her side. It's in the Dogon mythology and all. Came to this realm and set up a group of planets for himself. Made the earth. Made up some planetary spheres in this so literally as a renegade deity was born because he wasn't halfway finished. So when he created, he could only create on a low level. So he couldn't create back to the heaven realm. So this is the fall. There's two falls. So literally this entity called Yahweh or Dalabroth is his, his name in, in Gnosticism. He's got several names. Came, or uh, Jehovah, came to this particular section of the universe and created a section of a universe with a seven or twelve planetary chains and barricaded the other part of the universe off. Once he created it, he looked, he didn't realize because he was not, because he was not created all the way to the higher form. He couldn't look up above because he didn't have the energy from the... He didn't get the... He, 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 he was, because he was half created, he didn't have the energy of above to realize that there was somebody above him. You see what I'm saying? So he created a physical body down on this earth. It wasn't all the way formed yet. It wasn't upright yet. He looked up and said, this is my creation, this particular universe that you see. And I am God and I shall have no other God before me. You've heard that before. Mm -hmm. He said, I am a jealous God and I shall have no other God before me. You get that little part in the Bible. Tell you who the God of the Bible is. But, they, but see, it's a cut up scripture. They took, took them 700 years to take all the shit out. So there was other things. His mother Sophia said, a dollar broth, Yahweh, Jehovah, don't lie. There is a God before you. He now lives on earth. You see, to rectify what this subordinate deity had done, the gods from the Most High had to agree to fall down here to clean up this shit. But if they are higher than the God that created this realm, because this realm is low, and they had to fall, then the, what had fallen, they fell into the physical bodies that he created. Those are the fallen ones. The Nephilim. 